There is no one else like you, cause you are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. Cause you are great in the miracle so great. There is no one else like you. Yes, Lord. There is no one else like you. Cause you are great. Hear the miracles so great. There is no one else like you, yes, Lord. There is no one else like you, because you are great. You did miracles so great. There is no one else like you. There is no one else like him, cause you are great. You the miracles so great. There is no one else like him. There is no one else like him. It's your God. Sing with me, I agree. It's our God. And I will sing, I agree. How great is our God. You are the name above all names. You are worthy of my praise. My heart will sing, how great is our God, how great is our God, sing with me, how great is our God, how we sing, how great, how great is our God. Let's invite the presence of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit come and take control. Holy Spirit, come and have your own way. Come and fill our heart with your word. Come and break us and mold us. Come and saturate us with your power. In the name of Jesus. Come and have your way, Holy Spirit. Come and have the platform. It's yours, O God. This platform is yours, O God. This place is yours, O God. Everybody here is yours, O God. In the mighty name of Jesus, how great is our God. Sing with me, how great. How great is our God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I'm so glad. I'm so happy that all of us are here. But I'm quite very, very happy because you are here. Hallelujah. Amen. And I know that the Lord brought you here. We are very happy. Pastor Alexander is with us. So today I'm not going to shout since he has made a mistake to be here. Then I believe that mistake must be rewarded then. So, Pastor Alex, it seems uh, your video is okay now. It's good. Above all things, I'm so happy I got my mate, one of my schoolmates in Techima Secondary School. His, his name is Nana Midimehene Trimo Frimpon. <laughs> I don't know where he got his Midimehene from, but that's the, his name on Facebook. <coughs> This brother has been faithful for some time now. He's been following us, joining us every now on Facebook, 
Unfortunately, I think he can't talk to us because his mic is not showing. But I have so great respect and honor for my brothers when they join us from Ghana. I do have a great respect. It tells me how hungry they are. It tells me how hungry they are because I went to Ghana and every time I went to Ghana, I need to order another money. I need to call my wife, please. She'll be nagging. You're just wasting money, wasting money, wasting money. But she have no other choice. After nagging, she will send it. That's not the nature of women, by the way. We all nag. So when brothers are able to afford to join us, it shouldn't cost them to serve God and to know the ways of God. But unfortunately, God has made us one of their brothers to be here so that we can respond to them. When I was a little boy, there was a radio called Radio Morovia. There were some Ghanaian brothers they couldn't get. In those days, there was no much access to radio station as it is today. So this person was featuring from Morovia. I don't know whether he was living there. And every evening, my father with his Akasanoma radio, every Wednesday evening, there's only one person my father could not afford to continue to buy a battery. So there is a teacher, a school teacher in the village, and he alone have a radio he was able to afford. So in his radio, he would turn it to Radio Morovia. And I used to love the teachings because that guy had a powerful message, unlike those one that we were having normal one. He was ministering, I believe. That is where God has brought us. So I do respect I'm very, very grateful unto you, Nana, for you joining us here. And every now I see you on Facebook, I'm so happy. We also have Sister Nikki. God bless you, Sister Nikki. I don't know where you've tuned in from. I want to say special welcome and special love from Jesus Christ to you. I know I spoke to Sister Charlotte. And I believe Sister Charlotte is going to join us also very soon. Sister Charlotte has also been a very good, loyal follower from Facebook. And uh, she spoke to me this morning. I want you to understand, guys, what we are doing here, the Lord hands is on it. The sister showed me a dream that was very, very prophetic dream. In her dream, she has been into environments that they were praying and I see people were removing something and there was a bow, putting it in the bow. She went and looked into it and that bow, there was a snake, a small snake. So she ran away from that place. She ran away from that place. And when she ran away from that place, she was running and running. She came and met a very nice, beautiful, shining, the same bow, but a very beautiful one. And she saw that a clean water was inside. And in the water, there was also a cabbage, a cabbage fruit. So she picked the cabbage fruit, and all of a sudden, she felt that she can eat it. So she started eating it. And that was the end of the dream. So she came to me and said, Pastor, please, how can you explain this? I said, wow, it's quite explanatory. You were in an environment that it was delivering mood, but people were casting out demons and sipping spirits. I can't say that that place is what the spirit that is ruling there. But the Lord took you out of that place and he went into a new environment that the Holy Spirit, which is a clean water, the bowl, the container is the presence of God and that cabbage is the fruit that the Lord wants you to feed on. So I just want to recommend you that wherever you have come, where the word of God is being fed, God is telling you this is a place of nourishment. And I ask her, do you can you relate to that she said oh very well i can relate to that and as i was talking to her she said i joined you yesterday i said when so last night i said wow was it you i said wow then i can understand the reason why the lord gave you this dream so please if you have joined us i beg you stay with us and she said pastor i want to make heaven i said that is why we are all here we all want to make heaven badly so that if that is not your motive Sister Veronica is a pregnant woman. She is due. She can give birth any moment from now. But look at her. She's there. She wants to make heaven. And that's my prayer that God will give. God will give our sister very free labor. Free labor. Without pains. I think yesterday, 
last this morning sister esther led us to pray for them and we our prayer is for her she is due yesterday the doctor said she should deliver sister have you delivered yet not yet no sir no sir, no, sir. No, sir. i'm i'm still there you're still waiting it shall come just I'm like that god bless you for joining us pastor alexander mm -hmm. it's long time we have heard your voice sir what is the lord saying please take us through because of you i didn't prepare when i saw that you were there i said nowhere then i don't, I don't need to worry myself <laughs> Pastor Alexander. Hallelujah. Pastor Alex. All right. It seems he's not hearing us, but he's supposed to. Brother Alex. All right. My intention today was to talk about am I still in the race? Am I still in the race? Sometimes you change the topic a bit by the same trend. <laughs> Backsliders, they are not in the race. Unbelievers, they are not in the race. But those who are pursuing heaven, they are in the race. So the question that we want to ask ourselves this afternoon, am I still in the race? Pastor Ajay, Please unmute yourself and then take us through what the Lord is teaching you. Like we were picking from the children's uh, teachings, the studies that love led them. That was very, very powerful. I want to read something quickly. And that was the master that the Lord dropped in my heart. Whenever our brothers does what is well, we shouldn't be jealous at them. Now we've grown up already, so we shouldn't. Yeah? Every now and then when I speak to brother, uh, I, I will see I encourage him. I encourage him. When I speak to Pastor Kessie or Sister, those who are very close related, I motivate and encourage them. I'm not jealous at them. I wish they even know much more than I do. So I can go to them and I learn from them. From here, I'll go to Evangelist Platform. Sometimes I listen to Pastor Koffa. I listen to Brother Jude. I listen to these brothers. Because I believe they have something to teach. And I'm one of those who are learning from them. And I do believe that that is how the Spirit of Christ should be. That we humble ourselves. We shouldn't be jealous. We shouldn't be envy. We shouldn't be fighting against one another. Whenever you hear me exposing these false pastors, I'm not jealous. I wish that they can teach the people the truth. Because the pulpit is a place where people are suffering. Before we go on, if we are still, if we are still in the race, listen to this. The copy of the testament of God. What things he spoke unto his sons in the hundred and twenty-five years of his life, saying unto them. God is the junior, the senior brother of, uh, uh, of, of, uh, of Joseph, one of the sons of Jacob. How can my children, I was the ninth son born to Jacob, and I was a valiant in the keeping the flock, very faithful, skillfully, he was taking flock of his father. Accordingly, I gathered at night the flock and whenever the lion come or the wolf or any wild beast against the fold I persuade it and overtaking it I seize it full foot with my hand and held it about a stone throw and so kill it so he was like David running after the animals the wolves that intend to strike the father's flock now Joseph my junior brother was feeding the flock with us for upward of thirty days, and being young, he fell sick by reason of heat. Joseph was the smallest among them. Because the heat was so strong, Joseph fell sick. So he went. He returned to Hebron to our father, who made him lie down near him because he loved him gently. 
the father loved Joseph gently. And Joseph told our father that the sons of Zilpah and Bilhah were slaying the beasts of the flock, eating them against the judgment of Reuben and Judah. So he was complaining that some of his brothers were eating the flock against the supervision of their senior brother, Reuben and Judah. For he saw that had delivered a lamb out of the mouth of a bear and put the bear to death. But he slain the lamb, being grieved concerning it that it could not live and that we had eaten it. So it's like an animal came and killed one of the flock. So they wouldn't allow their flock to be spoiled. So they, they killed the flock who is not almost dead. Before he would die, they wouldn't eat it. So when they saw that the, 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 the animal was about to die, they killed it and they ate it. And regarding this matter, I was rough with Joseph until the day he was sold. This is God talking to his sons. Regarding this issue, I was so rough. To be rough here means he was upset. He was so angry at Joseph. Until Joseph was sold. And the spirit of hatred was in me. And I wish not either to hear of Joseph with the ears of, or to see him with the eyes. I couldn't contain even Joseph in his environment. What do you want to tell me? That's Mr. Sagan, Sagmir, come. Come here. And the spirit of hatred was in me. I wish not either to hear of Joseph with his ears or to see him with my eyes, because he rebuked us to our faces, saying that we were eating of the flock without Judah. For whatsoever thing he told our father, he believed him. Everything that Joseph told Jacob, Jacob believed him. I confess now my gin, my children, that oftentimes I wish to kill him. Because I hated him from my heart. The only thing that believers we need to do is to hate sin. Hate sin. Even if we see our brothers, if we see our brothers making mistakes, we shouldn't hate them. We should love them and correct them. We should love them and correct them. Pastor Alexander, are you there, please? You look ready. Pastor Alexander, are you there? Why is he not hearing me? Okay. So we are still listening to the confession of God. G-A-D. And Judah sold him secretly to the Ishmaelites. He said, I, I moreover, I hated him yet more for his dream. I wish to lick him out of the land of the living, even as an ox licketh up the grass from the field. The hatred for, of God toward Joseph was so severe that he wished that his brother dead. Don't have the heart if you are born again believer, because it is not required. It is not required. Pastor Alexander, can you hear me please? Yes, he can now. Can you hear me sir? Brother Alex, can you hear me? So God said, Judah sold him secretly to the Ishmaelite. Thus the God of our father delivered him from our hands, that we should not work great lawlessness in Israel. Whatsoever a man doeth, and now my children, hearken to the words of truth, to wear righteousness and all the law of the Most High, and go not astray through the spirit of hatred. Go not astray through the spirit of hatred. One of the gigantic spirits, demon, that Satan is using against the children of God is the spirit of hatred. The spirit of hatred among the siblings if your mother love your brother more than you do, please don't hate them. 
Pay adventure your, your, your father or your parents love your brother because of one reason or the other. Don't do that. Don't do that. As the children learn today from Genesis chapter number 4, the verse number is it 7b. God asked Jacob, uh, uh, Cain, why are you rough? Have you done well? Would you not be accepted? Have you done well? That is the key. Anytime we do well, we'll be accepted by God. We'll be accepted by God if you do the will of God. God loves a cheerful person that does things for him. My topic today is, am I still in the race? I'm expecting Pastor Alex to take over from me any moment that he's ready. Pastor Alexander, are you ready, please? Pastor Alex. Can you hear me, sir? Yes, please. Okay, Brother Alex, I've done my portion. The network is very bad. Sorry for that. All right. Okay. It's, it's, it's breaking. Yeah. Very bad. Okay. Let's hope that if it is Lord. Hallelujah. It's breaking. Amen. Amen. So are you are you ready? Oh, I should continue. Do you think do you think it's going to deserve? Let me see myself. Yeah, please. All right, try it. Try it and come across. I just want to leave to another place. Maybe that place. God bless you, brother. So, like I was saying, now God, God is advising His children. And said, children, listen to the words of truth, to work righteousness, and all the law of the Most High. Formerly, when we say righteousness, we thought that righteousness is just anything. But now you and me, we understand the righteousness of God from different perspectives. Righteousness is having the right stand with God, seeing things the way God sees it. Not the way you see it, or not the way another person that you think is a righteous person sees it. Righteousness is coming before God and asking God, is this thing right? Does it speak well? Does it represent you? Does it glorify you? Does it attract people to love you more? This is it, to have the right stand with God. And that is what Christians we are. Apostle Paul in the Philippians chapter 3, that I may obtain the righteousness of God, not the one that comes from my own understanding and definition. So God was saying that whosoever a man, whatsoever a man does, the hater abomination abominates him. Whosoever a man doeth, the hater abominates him. And though a man worketh the law of the Lord, he perish him not. Though a man fear the Lord, and take pleasure in that which is righteous, he love him not. Here the God is saying that any person that perform hatred, you feed on hatred. When you have hatred in your heart towards your brother, it is very bad. Today there are some of us, when our brothers are correcting us, we feel upset. Who are you to correct me? 
It takes only the humble and the meek to be corrected. Let us come to the level where the boy is truly doing that. He should have accepted yes, that, but this is how we the whole thing is. They shouldn't hate their brother. Let us take hatred out of our pursuits and pursue the love of God. The only thing that you are meaning to hate is sin, Satan and the world. The Bible tells us, love not the world, nor the things of this world. He said that God, he displayed the truth. He envy him that prospereth. He welcome evil speaking. He love arrogance. For hatred blinded his soul. As I also then look on Joseph. So he who that love sin. He hate truth. He envy him that do what is right. So he and another brother is confessing. He welcome evil speaking. He love arrogance. And he for hatred blinded his soul. One of the spirits that blind us is pride. Pride causes us to hate our brothers and sisters. Whenever they are doing well, we shouldn't hate them. We should promote them. We should love when we see the best in people. We must be there to support them. That is the mind of God. Beware there of children of hatred. For it worketh lawless even against the Lord himself. Whenever we hate, whenever we allow hatred to be in our heart, which is not hatred towards evil, it works even against God. Joseph brothers did not only hate Joseph, they even hated their brother too. Why? Because God gave him the dream. Why should I hate because God gives him a dream. God has given each and every one the call. And I don't know how some people are doing to maintain their callings. But one thing that I think they are doing, they are fasting, they are praying, they are giving much of their time, much of their money to do what they are doing. And when I see them in that way, beloved, I'm not jealous. I was talking to a brother this morning and a brother was telling me, man of God, I don't even work. All that I'm doing, I am doing with the little income that I have. I don't work. I said, wow. When you see these men of God, some of them, they don't go to work. They don't go to work. I am favored. I still go to work and I'm very happy. I'm very, very happy because God have not told me to. My other brother, God have told them to stop working. So when you see us standing here, when you see any man of God, pray for him. Then jealous him. Don't envy him. If they are speaking the truth, they are speaking the truth, pray for them. Pray for them. Most of our brothers, they don't work. I'm one of the favorites one. And I know that one day God will tell me to stop working and depend upon him. That time has not come, so I'm very happy when I go to work. <laughs> I'm sad if I don't get work. Why? Because there are so many demands which is laid upon us to help one another who financially. That's why I recommend for you. Sometimes leave some of the money. Stop trying to you're going to build a house. Stop it. This time is not a time to build a house at all. If you are building it, okay, then save, t divide the money, take some on your house, but leave some to build your house in heaven. That's very, very important. Other than that, when you go to heaven, you don't have a place to sleep. And if you come to my house, I will drive you away. Don't come here. When we were building our house in heaven, you were, you were trying to. Bro, <laughs> are you going to be so wicked? Oh, yes, I will. <laughs> I want to lie into my house. <laughs> oh, brother, can I spend a night with me? I will tell you. The time is up. You need to go back to your home. Because you are sleeping on the streets. <laughs> hey, Pastor. Oh, Jenny, I bet you I will do it. I love you, but I will. If you refuse to build a house in heaven, I will not allow you into my house. So. Yeah. All right. Am I still in the trend? Am I exhibiting hatred instead of love? There are some fathers, even they, love, they hate their own children. 
There are some mommy, they hate their own children. Mommy, don't do that. When you let the children know the differences, I didn't like the type of father that Jacob portrayed at all. He just chose Joseph and loved him because he loved Rachel. Just because he loved Rachel. A thumb be to God that we all love our ch children. That is why polygamy is not good. If you have a many other women, there might be a reason why you don't like the children because the mother have done something which is wrong. Daddy, Daddy Judith. Because the mother have done something which is wrong. And because of that, Sister Judith, your dad is here. Dad, please join us on, on Zoom. We'll be very happy. <laughs> so, the wife might have done something wrong and you, you, you transfer that hatred or anger over your senior wife onto your children. It's not good. That's why polygamy is not good. Polygamy is not requested or is not encouraged at all. Sister Esther now take us. Where is she? Or oh, Jenny, I think I heard Jenny's voice. Or oh, Sister Wumi. I saw Sister Wumi's face. She, she has a baby face. I said, wow, you look so young. <laughs> All right. All right, Jenny, please read for us. Am I still in the race? How can I know that I am still in the race when I depart from the faith? Now let's read 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 12. Don't depart from Christ. Any person that has turned his focus away from Christ, you are no more in the race. Second Timothy 2, verse 12, sister. I read in Jesus' name. God bless you, darling. If we suffer, we shall also reign with him. Uh, if we deny him, he also will deny us. Amen. Never deny Jesus Christ. What does it mean to deny somebody? To deny. To deny somebody. What is the meaning of denying somebody? Deny him, reject him, refuse him. Yeah, not giving him access into your life. Not giving him the full access, the ownership of what belongs to him. You deny somebody means you refuse to ask, allow the person to enjoy that which belongs to him. He said, if we deny him, he will deny us. Oh, God is merciful. Please read it again, Sister Wami. And let everybody hear that. Second Timothy chapter two verse twelve. If we suffer, we shall also reign with him. If we deny him, he also will deny us. Amen. If we deny him, he will deny us. Where is the grace then? If you deny Jesus, if I don't allow Jesus to be my Lord, if I don't allow Jesus to rule my life, if I don't allow Jesus to be my Savior, He will also deny me. Hosea chapter 4 verse 6 says, Because you have rejected knowledge, I will also reject your children. If you reject God, God will reject you. So where is the grace? The grace has been given to us to accept God, to accept His ways, to accept His counsel. Am I still in the race? Have I rejected the counsel of Jesus? God told you to wake up and pray. Oh, Lord, I'm tired. Be careful. God told you to stop going to this place. Oh, God, but I mean, at least they are preaching the gospel there. Be careful. Whenever he tells you to do something, be very, very careful not to. I love the introduction. The only word, the only second word that we hear in Mary's life, in Mary's ministry, Mary as a mother to Jesus Christ that I love much, is the book of John chapter number 2. At the Canaan wedding. And they ran out of uh, uh, wine. And then Mary went to Jesus and said, Lord, they have run out of wine. And Jesus said, Ma'am, what have I got to do with you? What of my ministry? You are not the one who is to instruct me to do. That was what Jesus was saying. You are not the one who to instruct me what I must do. And if she is not the one to instruct or to detect, she is not the one to detect for Jesus Christ. So those of you who are thinking that 
I saw the advert of Brother Awisi this afternoon. The person that he's going to interview, that person was shown Roman Catholic. So we'll do it quick and go and listen to the testimony also. Be careful, Roman Catholic is evil. Everything that Catholicism stands for is evil. Because Jesus, Mary is a mother, does not mean that Mary have a say. At my age, my mother had little say concerning my choices. My mother had a little say. Mommy can advise me, but I can choose to accept it or not. So if you are still a Roman Catholic and holding Mary's statues and believe that Mary is in the air, I'm telling you that is the queen of the coast, the devil. Marine spirits. The devil is a liar. If we reject Jesus Christ, and pick Mary. Jesus will reject us. If we reject Jesus Christ. And pick pastors. Oh pastor pray for me. Sister why don't you go to Jesus straight away. Jesus said. Apostle Paul. If we suffer with him. Every suffering that we are going through. Hey. Hey. Tough time never lasts. But tough people do. Every situation that you are going through. Is subject to change. Therefore, don't allow your current situation to detect your eternal life. Go through what you're going through. If it is a disgrace, go through. If it is pain, go through. If it is worry, if it is famine, if it is anything, if it is shame, bear it. Don't kill yourself. Don't go and hang yourself. Don't deny Jesus. I think Pastor uh, uh, Alex is on stage. Are you ready now? Yes, please. That's right. Now let me hear your voice. And reserve <laughs> and reserve mine. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. May the peace of Amen. God be upon all of us in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank God for another opportunity given to us to look through His Word. Pastor, today we want to follow and continue from Genesis chapter 22 where we ended last time. Genesis chapter number 22, verse 1 to 8. Genesis 22, 1 to 8. Genesis 22, 1 to 8. Sister Wami. I read in Jesus' name. Amen. And it and came to pass after these things that God did tempt Abraham and said unto him, Abraham, and he said, Behold, here I am. And he said, Take now thy son, thy only son, Isaac, whom thou lovest, and get thee into the land of Moria, and offer him there for a burnt offering upon one of the mountains, which I will tell thee of. 3. And Abraham rose up early in the morning, and saddled his ass, and took two of his young men with him, and Isaac his son, and cleared the wood for the burnt offering, and rose up, and went unto the place of which God had told him. 4. Then, on the third day, Abraham lifted up his eyes and saw the place of Pharaoh, five. And Abraham said unto his young men, Abide ye here with the ass, and I, I and the lad will go yonder and worship and come again to you. Six. And Abraham took the wood of the burnt offering and laid it upon Isaac, his son, and, it, and he took the fire in his hand and a knife, and, went, and they went both of them together. And Isaac spake unto Abraham his father, and said, My father, and he said, Here I am, here am I, my son. And he said, Behold, the fire and the wood, but where is the lamb for a burnt offering? Eight. And Abraham said, My son, God will provide himself a lamb for a burnt offering. So they went both of them together. Amen. 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 Also, for at the end of the year, you should be seven and eight in a by the shots here. And if you want, I'm gonna change. We want to consider verse seven and eight, however, I want to explain from verse one. Verse one, I see, then send me to your uncle Paul, Esau, Abraham, or Catch and say, 
Fauba Udono Kro, Isaac Kumuria Beposo, Fano Kobo Shah for the O, and Mamma Nipunu Bakwa Metro Munosu. As the sister read after this thing goes to Abraham and say that take your son, the one that you love most, into Mount Moria, one of the mountains that I will show you. Go and sacrifice him for me. And you will say Abraham Jama a Jano and I is in Fijina Obano. Here we see also the father as uh, Abraham as the father and Isaac as the son. In Zino Castle for about on a corner, Isaac. So specifically, God said, Seek your only begotten son, the one that you love, Isaac, and go and make a sacrifice for me as I'm going to show you. As I the mountain that the Lord showed Abraham represents the Calvary, the mountain Calvary where Christ was crucified. As we have explained previously, the two servants that Abraham took along, they symbolizes the criminals that Christ, they crucified Christ with them. And Abraham, the nan San Kwan Chuno, I will two yen and see Jinama Yesu Christ, you knew when in the sorry. The three days journey that Abraham journey. Until he reached the mountain, represent the three days death of Jesus Christ. The story of verse seven and eight now. Abraham or Mokono, Abraham, Isaac can see me through Papa. On their way going, on verse seven and eight, Isaac asked the father a question. Also, me, Abraham was me in the back. Also, she, who journey in any grandma. It's a father, here is a fire, and uh, here is a knife, but where is the lamb that we are going to sacrifice? He was questioning the lamb that the father, God, was going to use Jesus Christ to sacrifice for the redemption of the world. And Abraham said, God will provide the lamb of sacrifice. Or the benson. He said, Abraham, can Abraham know you can't put it for? I know you can't put it for being a society of fear, meaning to a cast a man as I say, a bem. Here we see the prophetic ministry of Abraham and be a prophet of God. Whatsoever he says must be fulfilled. Sabreno, Nen Yabram, Nankasa Pena, no de Casa, Nemonay and Commission, and I was shot to a Mavias. At this particular moment, it wasn't Abraham who is speaking for himself, but it was a prophetic word for the dying world. In the next, I say, I send my Abraham a catcher and about Isaac and Iviasen, as I say, I'm hopeful small will be. No biggies, I would join Abraham and share Hong Kong Mitchell. Meaning that. In the fullness of time, God has to reveal a person who is going to be that lamb who Abraham prophesied about. In the fullness of time, God sent John the Baptist that he will come and reveal Jesus as John, uh, as Abraham prophesied to Isaac. John the Baptist in the and Kupo in this will be in John chapter one. Give me a Bible in your call. In John chapter one, God appointed John the Baptist to come and reveal the Lamb to the world. Every say when you uncle Paul, I'm smart John the Baptist, and I'm a year used to peace to answer. Abraham by your truth for Tama no crap woman saw the Abraham Cassa and also better than the Had God not sent. John the Baptist to reveal Christ, Abraham will be a liar, and the spirit, the unction that came upon Abraham to prophesy could have also been a lying spirit. In the John the Baptist by Genesis chapter one or shall she say, O ye Ujana Chile, O ye in a red excuse, John chapter one, verse one, two. 
John chapter 1 verse 1 to 35 for me. John chapter 1 verse 1 to 35. John revealed Jesus to the world. I read in Jesus' name. Can you hear me? Yes, please. Yes. Okay, do I read, yeah? Yes, please. You want us to read all okay. the chapter? Yeah, all the chapter. Anyway, like, like there's up to 36. Yeah, 36. All right. Sister, let's go now. Long journey, but we are going. I read in Jesus' name. Okay. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. For in him was life, and the life was the light of men, and the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. Six, there was a man sent from God, whose name was John. The same came for a witness, to be a witness of life, of the light that all men through him might believe. It was not that light, but was sent to be a witness of that light. That was the true light, which lighted every man that cometh into the world. It was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. 11. It came unto his own, and his own received him not. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name, which were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, not of the will of man, but of God. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among God. And we beheld his glory and glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. 15. John bear witness of him and cried, saying, This was he of whom I speak. He that cometh after me is preferred before me. For he was before me, and of his fullness have all we received and grace for grace. For the law was given by Moses, but grace and truth came by Jesus Christ. No man has seen God at any time. The only begotten Son, which is in the bosom of the Father, he has declared him. 19. And this is the record of John. When the Jews sent priests and Levites from Jerusalem to, to ask him, Who art thou? And he confessed and denied not, but confessed, I am not the Christ. And they asked him, What then art thou, Elias? And he said, I am not. Art thou that prophet? And he answered, No. Then said they unto him, Who art thou, that we may give an answer to them that sent us? What sayest thou of thyself? 23. He said, I am the voice of one crying in the wilderness. Make straight the way of the Lord, as saith the prophet Isaiah. 24. And they which we were sent were of the Pharisees. And they asked him, and said unto him, Why baptize baptizest thou then, if thou be not that Christ, nor Elias, neither that prophet? John answered them, saying, I baptize with water, but this standard one among, among you, whom ye know not, is it is, who cometh after me, is preferred before me. Who should last it? I am not worthy to unloose. 28. These things were done in Bathsheba, beyond Jordan, where John was baptizing. The next day, John said, Jesus coming unto him and said, Behold the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. 30. This is he of whom I said, After me cometh a man which is preferred before me, for he was before me, and I knew him not. But that he should be made manifest to Israel. Therefore, am I come baptizing with water? 32. And John bare record saying, I saw the Spirit descending from heaven like a dove, and it abode upon him. And I knew him not, but he that sent me to baptize with water. The same said unto me, Upon whom thou seest the Spirit descending and remaining on him, the same is he which baptized with the Holy Ghost. And I saw and bear record that this is the Son of God. 35. Again, the next day, after John stood and two of his disciples. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. In verse 36, when John saw Jesus 
as he walked, he said, Behold the Lamb of God. So I joined the Baptist Cassimedi and Caminino. John said, I didn't know him, but because I need to reveal him so that the world may know him, I came before him to baptize with water. Because Abraham prophesied, I have been sent to fulfill the prophecy of Abraham to reveal Christ. In verse 29, I did not Verse 29, the next day John saw Jesus coming unto him, and he said, Behold, the Lamb of God, which take away the sins of the world. Verse 31, I know him not, but that he should be made manifest to Israel. Therefore, I am come. Baptizing with water. John testified again in verse 33, I know him not, but he that sent me to baptize with water, the same said unto me, Upon whom thou shalt see the Spirit descending and remaining on him, the same is which baptized with the Holy Ghost. In Junior Gupon, Esma John the Baptist, Emma Sammy Bramma Khan, or Bayer, and Pepe Pepe Emma, you will see Yusu Kusu, or any of you are saying. God sent John the Baptist to confirm and affirm what Abraham said that Jesus is the Lamb of God. I sana sa we ni ne bi sene yakopon so nam Moses so akasa fa Yesu Kristo ene obofo na wodi na nimo no Beside this beside before John God spoke through Moses as well concerning the angel which is coming before the Lord Here Exodus chapter 23 verse 20 to 27 no Exodus 23 20 to 27 Exodus 23 20 to 27. Exodus 20, 20, 23 to 27. Yes, please. Chapter 23, verse 20 to 27. <laughs> Sorry, I'm missing it up. 23, 23 to 27, or 20, 23 to 27. Yeah. 23 verse 20 to 27. All right. I read in Jesus' name. Behold, I sent an angel before thee to keep thee in the way and to bring thee into the place which I have prepared. Beware of him and obey his voice. Provoke him not, for he will not pardon your transgress your transgression, for my name is in him. But if thou shalt indeed obey his voice, and do all that I speak, then I will be an enemy unto the enemy, and an adversary unto the adversaries. For my angel shall go before thee, and bring thee into the Amorites, and the Atites, and the Perizzites, and the Canaanites, the Evites, and the Jebusites, and I will cut them off. Thou shalt not bow down to their gods, nor serve them, nor do affect, nor do offer, do after their works. But thou shalt utterly overthrow them and quite break down their images. 25. And ye shall serve the Lord your God and shall bless thy bread, and he shall bless thy bread and thy water, and I will take sickness away from the midst of thee. There shall nothing cast their young nor be barren in thy land. The number of thy days I will fulfill. 27. I will send my fear before thee, and I will destroy all the people of whom thou shalt come, and I will make all the enemies turn their back unto thee. Amen. 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 So, what shall I say? Verse 21. I say, She ye when a new meeting in it, the men mean it, you know. Beware of him and obey his voice, spoken him not, provoke him not. Verse for he will not pardon your transgression, for my name is in him. 
So yes, I'll see Muria or Kana Hana. I nay a cocoa book and only a cup on the baby as in your mom, but you need to use it. Here the Lord was warning the entire world those who revoke against Christ. All because the name of the Father is in Christ Jesus. Because the Father possesses Jesus Christ, anybody that uh, despite me speak against Jesus Christ is insulting the Father. If anybody rebels against Jesus, then how can Jesus be God? Then the person is not rebelling against Jesus, he's rebelling against God. That is why in our previous studies, we established that the greatest sin that a person can commit is to deny Jesus of his godly nature. Whenever Jesus spoke, he said, Believe that the Father is in me and I am in the Father. Yes. He said, Exodus 1 and verse 22. I say, I'm passing with you, and now you're the making in the mayor. What time for time for? I'm a hearing your own hearing for a home. In Esther chapter 23, verse 22, but if thou shalt indeed obey his voice and do all that I speak, then I will be an enemy unto thy enemy and adversary unto thy adversaries. In general, I'm going to pass and I'm saying, but may I have a home? I want the bonnier form. So, what do you use to be here? And you can ask how I'm a beer. That is why the Bible says that, my son, do not uh, destroy yourself or do not cause harm to yourself because of the evil doers. If you accept Jesus as your personal Savior and Christ is dwelling in you, your enemy is Christ's enemy. Because he that is in you is greater than the one that is in the world. Therefore, if you become a born again believer after accepting Jesus as your personal savior, don't focus on your enemy, but focus on your righteous standard that you need to attain. So the Lord will prophesy to say that if you obey my son whom I'm going to send and follow all his decree, then I will remove all your enemies in front of you. And then on verse 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 twenty seven, I was a man who had the way name. Mama Maya will be so I'll send my fear before thee. Another translation said I'll send my terror before thee. And will destroy all the people to whom thou shalt come, and I will make all the enemy tend their backs unto thee. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We need to form a winning bush. I will come and perform. I'm going to do more to use the people. So no more These are the promises laid for them who have put their trust and their confidence in Jesus. And live a holy and a righteous life. And this old Beji and a ready years to be sued. That's all dinner shed in a thing with your swa. And when you answer, we should be and not be view as I say so. Therefore, if you come to embrace Jesus Christ and obey his counsel and ordinances, you need not to be afraid of those people who are the enemy of the cross. Name of my dear Bach open as a civil suit. Now, we should move you on and anybody. One thing that you need to be afraid of and turn away from is sin. Before John the Baptist also emerged, the Lord have used all other prophets also to prophesy about him. 
said the bear and a ready to my end. In the pain, I beg you to be a copper, so leave your sergeant, and I'll beg you to be a so that when Jesus Christ comes, every person will believe that he is the Lamb of God sent to take away the world's sin. Serge Malachi chapter 3 verse 1 to 6. Malachi chapter 3 verse 1 to 6. Malachi chapter 3 verse 1 to 6. Amen. Behold, I will send my messenger, and he shall prepare the way before me. And the Lord whom ye seek shall suddenly come to the temple, even the messenger of the covenant whom ye delight in. Behold, he shall come, says the Lord of hosts. But who may abide the day of his coming? And who shall stand when he appears? For he is like a refiner's fire and like fuller soap. And he shall sit at a refiner and purifier of silver, and he shall purify the sons of Levi, and forge them as gold and silver, that they may offer unto the Lord an offering in righteousness. For then shall the offering of Judah and Jerusalem be pleasant unto the Lord, as in the days of old, and as in former years. Five, and I will come near to you to judgment, and I will be a swift witness against the sorcerers. And against the adulterers, and against false swearers, and against those that are dressed in hireling in their wages, wages, the widow and the fatherless, and that turn aside the stranger from his right and share not me, says the Lord of hosts. Six, for I am the Lord and take them not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not. Amen. 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 This also actually verse 20 be my session, a small book for. Behold, I'm sending a messenger to prepare a play away for you before you. Na impufi mo ne uradi amoshusha na ne atambo fwa mo peno ne beba na shorifi. Then the Lord whom ye seek shall suddenly come to his temple. Asishe oriba as oriba asafu uradi ena wasi. He said he is coming soon. The Most High God says so. Now, when will be to me, neighbor? Now, will be in the you know, when will be to me. Who may abide on the day of his coming? Whom shall stand before his appearance? Now, I have to cast off for you in a ready years to Christ. Here also, he was predicting or testifying about Jesus Christ. So, Roger, verse 3, now see, or better, now see. Now, one nanny was a better man say, Now, one nanny get a one nanny get a yemo, no be ye live him, and where you will miss a sickly get a. He shall sit on the three as the refiner and purify of silver, and he shall purify the sons of Levi and purge them as gold and silver, that they may offer unto the Lord an offering of righteousness. Here we can establish that Jesus, the coming of Jesus Christ, was for those who will obedient to his word or his gospel and depart from sin. Here he was saying that he is going to set some people, specifically he is going to paint some people, not everybody that he is going to pick into his kingdom, but he is going to select few. Mm. And verse 3 going to say that, and he will reward those who bring their offering in righteousness unto God. Here, he was saying that although he is come to die for sinners, but after his death and his resurrection, he will not continually walk with sinners, but those who have exempted themselves from sin and living a righteous life. 
What did buy Facebook? My make a me copy the bar WhatsApp near the Miss Anawa Cassa used one of swing yet. On not seeing out and come out the ball and never go beat him before. I probably remember, Pastor, you made also a similar uh, teachings which I copied it and share it on WhatsApp that Jesus will not continue to remain God for sinners, but he is going to be the God of the righteous people. This always verse four now. The dear can verse number four. No, I say and no answer. Now you don't need to listen. My dear, dear, be so ready. Any, at the set at the now. No, you know. Then shall the offering of Judah and Jerusalem be pleased unto the Lord as in the days of old, and as a former years. Verse ten. No, I say now me 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 be now me bu bu atin. Now my dear, other senior, now why you have made Santa for you for? Any our self for any one of our can't tell him any one of the upper four part there. He said, I will rebuke and devour for your sake, and he shall not destroy the fruits of your ground, neither shall your van cast her fruit. Is it verse 10? Uh, up to verse 6. Oh, up to verse 6, okay. For I am the Lord your God, and I will come near to you and judge judgment, and I will be swift witness against the sorceress and against the adulteress, and against false swearers, and against those all that oppress, the hailing in his wages, the widow and the fatherless, and that turned aside the stranger from his right, and fear not me, saith the Lord of hosts. Amen. In the as a man, I'm going to a hand now. I'm going say, I'm going to be a big word, you are saying, Quadia, but I said, you are too much bank of war. I'm going to be born in. Considering what he is saying here, although Jesus has come to die for sinners, yet he is bringing judgment against those who are still living in sin. In the end, I'm ready to use this too. So, we'll be five years to see the red in the crowd, and we will be able to see the red in the crowd, and we will Therefore, if a person accepts or claims that he accepted Jesus as his personal savior, it is a required for that person to live a holy and a righteous life. So in his second coming, he is not coming as a lamb, but he's coming as a judge. He said he is going to remove the fruit from the tear. So whenever we are emphasizing on the redemptive plan of Jesus Christ, that we are saying to move away from sin. Malachi, Malachi, chapter four, verse number one to six. They say Malachi chapter four, verse one to six. Malachi four, one to six. I read in Jesus' name. Amen. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud, yea, and all that do and the day that cometh shall burn them all, saith the Lord of all, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. But unto you that fear my name shall the Son of Righteousness arise to you. And ye shall go forth and grow up as cows of the storm. They shall tread down the wicked, for they shall be ashes under, under the sole of your feet in the day that I shall do this, says the Lord of hosts. For remember ye the law of Moses, my servant, which I commanded unto you in glory for all Israel, which will have their statutes and judgments. Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and the of Elijah. And he shall turn the heart of the fathers to the children and the heart of the children to their father. Amen. 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 So, I said, I can have verse 1 or something. I said, I don't know if I'm the best sister for no I said, the day is coming and it shall burn like an oven. And all the proud ye and all that do wickedness shall be stumbled, and they that come shall bend them up. 
Na eda e ba ne be she won asafo ade na wose na ere nya won hi ni ana Dubai. They are see the Lord of hosts and they shall not leave them neither root nor branch. We were kasafa de bonye fo ho omo omo gi Jesus Christ di o metena boni mo ene nkor fo omo nso no omo anji na ndi kra. Here he is talking about sinners, those who claim that they go to church, they believe in Jesus, yet they were living in sin, and those who never believe in him at all. Meaning that to confess Jesus, put your hands on your neck and your on your chest and confess Jesus as your Lord and your Savior is not the end. It goes beyond that. Said the old castle, so we'll be five years to Christian, Yen, a rat in the crowd, Jim, and Ocaso, Ocaso, Tanabonima. There's a one year new crown who you are, and we are bound for such as any patrol. A person who never confessed Jesus will be far better than the one who claimed that he has confessed Jesus, yet she or he is living in sin. Said the old castle, so we'll be five years to Christian, Yen, a rat in the crowd, Jim, and Ocaso, Ocaso, Tanabonima. There's a one year new crown who you are, and we are bound for such as any patrol. A person who never confessed Jesus will be far better than the one who claimed that he has confessed Jesus, yet she or he is living in sin, like the world. And to we are the Bonnier Fort, Jenny, and Crawford, Motip Bonimo, some and Edeno, and our bad tenure for the Osu of their stone. After he has spoken concerning those who are living in wickedness and in sin, then he came to the verse number two. He said, Those who fear my name, the sun of righteousness shall arise within the healing in his wings. And then to brew out where did the other? And he shall go forth and grow up as the calves of the star, of the star. We are Kasaf and Krofua. Omu Ji Yesu Kristu Diye. No me do muni pedwesi wa ba for yema yango pong. Kongo yani amuti yemo. Here he is talking about those who accepted Jesus as their personal savior and live holy, righteous, and truth life. Those who prioritize the salvation of Jesus Christ above everything after they have accepted Jesus as their personal savior. Those who were not lukewarm and 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 and, and uh, seeking favor of men, but they serve God from the deep and the bottom of their hearts. Asa sankro for no verse 3 no mube tete abone for so no be yen so monai ase Such people shall tread down the wicked for they shall be ashes under the soul of your feet E da mere yo no so asa for ade ana wase In the day that I shall do that see as the Lord of hosts In this verse 4 na ana wase atwe adwene ku si John the Baptist so he pointed us to John the Baptist in verse 4. Now the Mayan Sekukobo and the Bosh. He gave to us as a precaution and also as a promise. The Usha was someone came my poor Moses in Ram Shen or Horib. Israel, you know, was a Shadia and the Atimodia. Remember ye the law of Moses, my servant, which I commanded unto him in Herob. For all Israel with the status and judgment. And as a sad day we and I'm the big we are singing our tongue. Because I'm going to use the law and the status to judge the entire world. And I'm five from a social media small deal for you, I'm a bremo. And send you a little kissia a you abba. Behold, I will send unto you Elijah. Hmm. Hmm. The prophet before the coming of the Lord, great and dreadful day of the Lord. He said, He shall turn the hearts of the fathers to the children and the children's heart to the fathers. And they say, I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know what I'm saying. Meaning that a man that has been ordained for that particular ministry or office, he is not going to pamper people, sinners, and just to uh, say fantastic word to them, but he is going to warn them against evil. 
And you will say they join the bus by and we seek count or money. No more moon who say, Be a better not born in Mubiano. On one one, and maybe to my Jimma if you are born for my Abraham. So we saw under the ministry of John the Baptist who came in the spirit of Elijah that when he came, he was so stern and he was so strong because he believed that God can even raise children out of stones. Pastor, Pastor Alex, please just give me a second here. I know there are so many of you who believe, or some of you might believe that Dr. Uru is the Elijah. He is not Elijah. John the Baptist is the Elijah. Because that man is going around and saying that uh, Jesus said uh, there's a prophecy in Malachi that John the, uh, the, the spirit of Elijah will come. And he is that Elijah. At the point he is the Elijah. And at the point he is the major prophet. At the point he is one of the witnesses. Who is that man? <laughs> one man cannot be three people. Hey! Kenyans and Africans, beware. Go ahead, sir. Yeah, if you Matthew chapter 11, verse 7 to 14. No? Jesus, verse 7 to Jesus spoke about this scripture in Matthew chapter 11, verse 7 to 15. Matthew 11, verse number 7 to 15. Matthew chapter 11. I read, yeah. I read Matthew chapter 11, verse 7 to 11. I read verse 7 to 11. 7 to 11, yeah. And then, and as they departed, Jesus began to say unto the multitude concerning John, What will you be out into the wilderness to see? A reed shaking the wind. But what went ye out for to see? A man clothed in soft raiment? Behold, they that wear soft clothing are in king's houses. But what went ye out for to see? A prophet? Yes, I say unto you, and more than a prophet. For he to see of whom it is written, Behold, I send my messenger before thy feet, which shall prepare thy way before thee. Eleven, verily I say unto you, among them that are born of women, they are not given a greater than John the Baptist. Notwithstanding, he that is lived in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. Amen. Amen. <laughs> In this only edition, I have to excuse to my own say Eliana or Bebano on any John the Baptist. So, the prophecy that was prophesied in Malachi chapter 4 concerning the Elijah, the spirit of Elijah, was John the Baptist, according to Matthew chapter number 11. This is verse 12 for now. If you only should only brush so ABC and I was right in one day. From the days of John the Baptist unto now, the kingdom of heaven suffereth violence, and the violent take it by force. Verse 12. There's a heaven I am for, and I'll be a better Meaning that those who think that going to heaven is eating and drinking and sleeping and makeup and eyelash and high hell because God loved beauty, you are joking. In this year, so I a year made chapter 17, verse 11 to 13. And so, as we can all that chapter 17, that Matthew verse 11 to was so repeated, Matthew chapter 17, verse 11 to 15. Matthew 17, 11 to 15. And Jesus answered and said, Elias fully shall first come and restore all things. But I say unto you that Elias is come already, and they knew him not, knew him not but have done unto him whatsoever the light. Likewise shall also the Son of Man suffer of them. But then the disciple understood that he spoke unto them of John the Baptist. And when they were come to the multitude, there came to him a certain man, kneeling down to him and saying, Lord, have mercy on my son, for he is lunatic and so vexed. For oftentimes he falleth into the fire and often into the water. And I brought him to thy disciple, and they could not 
John 17. Then Jesus answered and said, Oh, faithless and perverse generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I be with you? Hello. Praise the Lord. Amen. Uh, Matthew chapter 17, verse number uh, 11 to 13. Okay, where we, where we, where we, uh, All right. I the voice in my hand. My name is All right. Don't worry, sister. Okay. You've read it. That's fine. Ain't it? So, what shall I honor? So, there's a lady, yes, you boss, and I say, Elia, but I'll be saying, see, name in our dear. And from the same as Elia, but that never won't wear any day of opinion now. In verse 11 of Matthew chapter 17, Jesus repeated his testimony about John as the spirit of Elia. And he said, truly, Elia have come and nobody saw him. They mistreated and mishandled him. Now the son of man is about to be revealed. 13. And as you have one, it's yes, you have to go in one, and I already come on. Then the disciple perceived, they understood that he was speaking about John the Baptist. And they only used to cast our back. And yes, I feel no baby was so abundant to be cast. You have to be the ban or your noir or your true for. Therefore, any prophet that says that he is the Elijah to come, he's a false prophet because John. Is coming in the name or in the spirit of Elia or Elisha, and he had already gone. He came even before Jesus Christ. False prophets, turn away from them. You are Elijah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Now, answer in your uncle point back, Cassa Samuel. I did be the sea ever. You told me, woman, in the man, I'm a Cassa Samuel. Something happened in the book of Deuteronomy before God testified about this. Yeah, Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse number 15 to 19. Deuteronomy chapter number 18, verse 15 to 19. Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse 15 to 19. 15. <laughs> I read in Jesus' name, 15 to 19. <laughs> The Lord thy God will raise up unto thee a prophet from the midst of thee, mm. of thy brethren, Another like lie. unto me, unto him, Yesha, Aki. 16. According to all that thou desirest of the Lord thy God in Horeb, in, in, in the day of the assembly, saying, Let me not hear again the voice of the Lord my God, neither let me see this great fire anymore, that I die not, I die not. 17 and the lord said unto me they have well spoken that they that which they have spoken amen 18 amen. i will raise them up a prophet from among their brethren like unto thee and will put my words in his mouth and he shall speak unto them all that i shall command him 19 and it shall come to pass that Whosoever will not act into my words, which he shall speak in my name, I will require it of him. Amen. 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 Also, for I say, Malachi, I say, Yankai, the In the book of Malachi, the Lord remembered the children of Israel, they had the issue. Remember what happened. Before the children of Israel in her mountain Horeb. As in the sun, I say, I didn't think I saw a seminal. I found that I didn't want to be in the young chat. The question is why God is repeating the same instance at the end of the Old Testament. If it's any independent, because that is the hope and the end of all mankind. Also, for Brian and Uncle Pong, and now Moses, so Eddie is here for a cooking as a solution. I'm with you, Tia Moses. As the Lord was leading the children of Israel through Moses, they rebel against Moses. It will be a no move, Moses, and you, Tia. I said, and Uncle Pong, and Moses, or no one, and one, and so on, and so on. No more, so it's Moses. In many occasions, they rebel against Moses as God have. Allow him to be the only way 
that they can follow to reach the promised land. They were still rebelling and insulting Moses that there are other choices. He is not the only choice. When you uncle Pomo Mumu say, A Moses in Quan on any Becasa de Ponoso, on also the Nashadina Breezer for Sajan. The Lord established that and made them aware, apart from Moses, he would never speak to any man on the mountain, that he will bring them what he speak to them to the children of Israel to listen and follow. In Israel, one of his almost had in Tina Moses in Quan and Dipi and Uncle Pomfano Sokasa. They were murmuring about themselves. Why is only God? You, Moses, are you the only one that God should speak to us? From Egypt out to Horeb, there were always disputes. They were murmuring against Moses every day. Are you the only one God should speak through us? So imagine Horeb, God became tired and upset towards the attitude towards Moses. <laughs> This time around, they opted themselves that we want to talk to God ourselves because we can also hear God's voice. Moses, you get out and let us talk to God ourselves. And God just go to Moses, yes, Moses, just take it cool. You allow them, let them come. Let them come and meet me on the mountain. They thought that it was so easy that God, apart from the anointed one, God could speak to every person. So as they were climbing higher, God decided also to come down and meet them. And he came with tender and with storm, with hailstones. So God wouldn't even take two steps and the people retreat. They, they reverse straight away. They ran to Moses and said, Please, Moses, it is not easy to hear the voice of God. Please go and plead on our behalf and ask God to forgive us for our rebellion attitude. And Moses was and the same Moses who went before the Lord and plead on behalf of them. This time around, God endorsed their attitude that now they have a fair Moses to be the spokesman of God. Maybe you are due for me to say, Moses, a woman, and the Amaum. Now, the another prophecy that came, God said, I'm going to bring another man like you, Moses, a Jewish, not Arab, but a Jewish. Somebody like you, Moses, yes. born into Jewish tradition, <laughs> not Arab. Let me say, Nina, I would give one of the same Moses. Meaning that a man like you, Moses, from Jewish descent, who is going to use his blood to set you free, he is the only way that I can give my status unto. Now, one of the things that we have seen is that we have to say, we it's because of him I have allowed all these things to happen that when he is revealed, anybody that rejects him, as you have rejected Moses, I will deal with such people. In the sun said, I'll say more Casafa in a ready use of Christo. There will be a bepo use to be a young quadrant, and as a young copon at the bath from that than a year. Because this prophecy was about Jesus Christ, not Muhammad, and any person that will reject Jesus will be condemned. The Lord permitted that to be repeated also in the book of Malachi. In the Malachi, in the Malachi, in the Malachi chapter 4, verse 4. No? Let's go back and read Malachi chapter 4, verse 4 to establish this fact again. 
I read in Jesus' name. Amen. Verse 4 to 6. Yeah. All right. Remember ye the law of Moses, my servant, which I commanded unto him in Horeb for all Israel, with the status and judgment. 5. Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great dreadful day of the Lord. 6. And he shall turn the heart, heart of the fathers to the children, and the heart of the children to the fathers, lest I come and smite the earth with a curse. Amen. 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 Now the Lord was reminding them, remember, remember, remember the law and the status that I gave to you through Moses, whom you rebel against. John the Baptist, which is coming in the spirit, of Elijah, whenever he comes, whatever he tells you, don't rebel because I will be the status and your judgment. Israel for the day, the sons of the day and shall for the instant. I want to a moment into the moon, but if you know, my dear, my church, it's a real, but if you be any woman, the children of Israel, since I was using them as a measuring tool, when they rebel, I forgive them. But as for you, if you rebel against the Messiah, there is no repentance. This is Luke chapter 1, verse 16 and 17. Now, say Luke Gospel chapter 1, verse 16 and 17. Luke Gospel chapter 1, 16 and 17. I read in Jesus' name. I read in Jesus' name. Amen. And many of the children of Israel shall eat unto the Lord your God, and he shall go before him in the spirit and power of Elijah, to turn the heart of the fathers to the children and the disobedience to the wisdom of the just, to make ready a people, a people prepared for the Lord. Amen. 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 This is I have no concern for you, John, the Johannes, Shuboni, and one summer, I know what can I have. This is when the angel Gabriel visited uh, Zachariah and he was testifying about who John is going to be. Verse 7 to us, you know, the Elia home and the home of the He shall go forth before him in the spirit and the power of Elias. Now, I call Danny a gentleman come and abba one muscle. And he has something for the opportunity of the home. To turn the heart of the father to the children and the disobedient to the wisdom of the just. Now I see your Maya, what Bobo won't hold the Amma at the Amma a rabbit. To make ready the people who have prepared for the Lord. A castle, my own Bobo, and Kofua, or my Omeyan, or Cray again, such. Talking about the people who have prepared themselves, these are the people who have repented. From their sins, people have rejected Satan and sin and all the deeds of darkness. This is Mika, Mika chapter 4, verse number 6 and 7. Prophet Michael, chapter number 4, verse 6 and 7. Verse 6 and 7. Micah chapter 4, verse 6 and 7. I read in Jesus' name. Amen. In that day, says the Lord, will I assemble her that all and I will gather her that is driven out and her that I have afflicted. 7. And I will make her that halted, halted a remnant and her that was cast far off a strong nation. And the Lord shall reign over them in Mount Zion from henceforth even forever. Amen. Amen. In that day, yes, the Lord, I will assemble her that healeth. And I will gather those who have been driven out 
and her that have I afflicted. When you go for Casa from Crofua, or what tea is a sempana, no muddy emica, Eba, you should be so ten. These refer to those that respond swiftly after they have heard the gospel of Jesus Christ. Verse seven, the members here for no Ayan Kaye. And I will make her that halted and remaineth, and here that was cast off a strong nation. Now, one of our Pamon Quay, Chichina, your Mike, is here, and I did the deal so in a Zion before so a free and lady Kusida. The Lord shall reign over them in Mount Zion from henceforth, even forever. So, yeah, some of our kind of Hannah. Yes, any John the Baptist dealing in a pet. Taking from this verse, it is confirming exactly what has been prophesied about John the Baptist. And as it will be says, your mind be a matter of no major bonnet, and a moment rather. Meaning, he is going to prepare a nation who have set themselves aside and living for God. Inti or so for beer and also some parkani beer and young coupon than a sample of the man. Your dear son and son and say, only to you born him a matter of him. Therefore, any prophets, any evangelist who has been given the gospel of Jesus to preach, that person should point people to Christ by telling them to turn away from sin and run unto Jesus Christ. Point people to Christ. And to any I said ye and go point them my say. I do my dear say and sunny the monk of foot and turn up on me name your monk of whom is who be over one in Mubiano or the course see you. This is the holy status or eternal uh 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 assignment that has been given unto you and me that whenever we meet people we should let them know that they should turn away from their sin and turn to Christ. Have you many pain and trust your say? In a ready use, you kiss your many pain and trust your say, you so my tossing on my father born here for a young girl for my two more and over for home. We should preach this gospel to people and let them be aware that Christ is not coming for prostitutes, Christ is not coming for arm robbers, Jesus is not coming for thieves, but he is coming for the righteous saint. A church, ecclesia, people have set themselves aside for the use of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Isaiah chapter 40, verse number 1 to 11. Isaiah chapter number 40, verse 1 to 11. Isaiah chapter number 40, 1 to 11. Comfort ye, comfort ye, my people, sayest your God. Speak ye comfortably to Jerusalem, and cry unto her that her warfare is accomplished, that her in that her iniquity is pardoned, for she hath received of the Lord's hand double for all her sins. Three, the voice of him that cried in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord, make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be exalted, and every mountain shall every mountain and hill shall be made low, and the crooked shall be made straight, and the rough places plain. Five, and the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all flesh shall see it together, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. The voice said, Cry, and he said, What shall I cry? All flesh is grass, and all the goodliness thereof is as the flower of the field. The grass withereth, the flower fadeth, because the Spirit of the Lord bloweth upon it. Surely the people is grass. 8. The grass withereth, the flower fadeth, for the word of our God shall stand forever. O Zion, that bringeth good tidings, get thee up into the high mountains. O Jerusalem, that bringeth good tidings, Lift up thy voice with strength. Lift it up. Be not afraid. Sayeth the Lord, sayeth, say unto the cities of Judah, Behold your God. 10. Behold, the Lord God will come with strong hand, and his arm shall rule for him. Behold, his reward is with him, and his crop before him. 11. 
He shall feed his flock like a shepherd. He shall gather the lambs with his hand and carry them in his bosom and shall gently lead those that are with young. Amen. Amen. The voice of him that cries in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord. Verse 3. Be straight in the desert, a highway for our God. Meaning that a sinner should turn away from his wicked ways and turn unto Jesus Christ. See, I'm robber, other worshiper, other covetous. Turn, turn, religious person, turn away from your wicked ways and turn to personal relationship with Jesus Christ. So we have the six now. Any bit seems, any bit, any bit seems, or something seems. A voice is saying, cry. And he said, what shall I cry? All flesh is grass. And all godliness therefore is as a flower of the field. Meaning that any righteousness without Jesus Christ is like a grass. Under the day of judgment, it shall be burnt. O Zion, that bring a good tidings, get thee up onto the high mountain. O Jerusalem, that bring a good tidings, lift up. The voice with the strength, lift up, be ye not afraid. Say unto the city of Judah. Say unto Judah, your God, your God, this is your God. Jesus is Christians, our God, the one who is cross on the tree. He is the God of Christians. Verse number 10. A Rabinian coupon de Tumiba, and the Basabi Dini Mamano. Behold, the Lord our God will come with stronger hand, and his arm shall rule for him. She and I catch your canoe, and I name with she a Dini. Behold, his reward is with him, and his work is before him. He shall reward righteous as well as sinners. Those who believe in Jesus yet live in sin, and because of them they blasphemed against of the name of Jesus Christ, they will be punished. As well as those who believe in him and give up the world and live every day in suffering for him, they will be rewarded with eternal heaven. This is what you who are going to church and say that you have been saved by grace. Christianity is in the heart, not in the in the in the, in the, in, the, in the physical sense. Be aware, be aware that Jesus is not coming for prostitutes. Jesus is not coming for makeup people, eyelash people, naked people. But He's coming for those people who have clothed themselves with righteousness, holiness, and filled their heart with the right sense of approaching God. Therefore, 
And those who are listening and yet have put death ears, you have not given your life to Jesus Christ and procrastinating. Remember what happened to the children of Israel and Moses on the mountain Herob. All these things have been written down for our instructions and our correction for those of us who are waiting for the coming of the Messiah at this end time. Are you still on the track? Are you still on the way? Are you still in the race? Are you still dwelling in sin? Or you've given your life to Christ as we are bringing this series to an end? In designs and power in the platform we are creating in the world. All this gospel and this platform is pointing people to eternal life with Christ. The most miserable thing that will happen for your soul that you watch us every day on Facebook. You sit here on Zoom with us, but on that day, you'll be disqualified. That would be very, very pitiful. As I am bringing my voice to an end, I beseech you, brethren, with the mercies of the living God, to give your body as a living sacrifice and bring your heart, your life, as a living sacrifice unto your God and your Maker. So that when he comes, you will not say, Had I know. You will not say, Had I know. You have this opportunity. God bless you, man of God. I started with Amen. the topic Are you still in the race? And the brother ran up with the same Are you still in the race? You might be listening to holiness teachers and you damn our preaching. Because, what is the name of the woman? Funke. Funke. is one of the famous Nigerian lady preachers. She has not learned her lesson. Bimbola. Bimbola is in hellfire. Drinking and pleading for forgiveness. Funke. Repent, my dear. Very beautiful woman. Are spoken. Well, good English speaking. Misleading. And bringing people to hell fire. Speaking against holiness and righteousness. Sister Funke, please repent. There are many of you who listen to holiness and you turn back and listen to these thieves, arm robbers, and prostitutes who are fornicating with Satan and thinking, bribe, and selling their soul to the devil. If you are listening to this double standard Christian, be very careful. Everything in the scripture points to the fact that Jesus is God. If you are so doubting, why don't you go to Jesus and ask him, are you God? There's no need to worry yourself. Go to him. And he will tell you, if he is not God, he will tell you, don't mind these Christians. Don't mind them. Pray, fast three, four, five, six, seven, try. If you want the truth, wait until the truth comes. Wait. And mention the name Jesus, 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 Jesus. I, 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 I don't know you, but I want to know. A certain man prayed that prayer. He said, three days, Jesus never show up. The seventh day, a light appeared. He fell on his knees and said, I am Jesus. Indeed, I am the Son of God. He yes. said, Zion, prepare. Your God is coming to you. Zion, prepare because your king, your God is coming to you. Are you in the race? Are you in the Roman Catholic? Ask yourself, is Catholic the way to heaven? Are you in the Baptist? Are Jesus Christ? Is Baptist the way to heaven? Are you in a uh, seven day Adventist? Ask Jesus. He has a final say. Come to him. Before you be complacent and you before you compromise with sin, come to the Lord. I don't believe in holiness teachings. I believe that everywhere goes to God. Before you believe in lies, give your life to Jesus Christ. Ask him to forgive your sin. 
and turn you from your wicked ways. Before we go, we want to give like few uh, minutes. If anybody have a question that troubles him or her, that person may ask the question before we pray. Sister Judith, you have a question? Is it still night? Is it still night in your place? We can't hear you. We can't hear you. Your voice is not coming. Go and come back. Sister Esther, I know this is your hands. Oh, brother. Esther, please. 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 お母さんのビームエサチュライ。なんでにもせバイブセドオモニパソウプログラムウェチナ。あてもおお。ああ、あやちにパトロフェセミムセ。イエスコカンサムノ。エビモセセフリーワノモエニアデンサチュラナ。
The question is, we know that when a righteous person dies, he goes to heaven. So why is it saying that until Jesus came and died, no righteous person were able to go to heaven? So here Jesus visited hell or the Hages or where the dead people Abraham from Adam until Jesus came all of them were waiting the righteous they were waiting for Christ so Christ went there for them he didn't go for the sinners so when we talk about that Jesus died and descended into hell, he we are talking about uh Hebrew chapter eleven that all these people died without the promises, seeing the promises. They died. They left this earth rim and went and waited Jesus in paradise. They didn't see Jesus, but they saw Jesus when Jesus died. They met him and he brought them out together with him into heavenly places. In the soldier, and you look chapter 10, verse 24. Now, in your own, you just in your canal. Then, look, gospel chapter 10, verse number 24. Look, chapter 10, verse 24. Look, chapter 10, verse 24. Look, chapter 10, verse 24. I read in Jesus' name. Amen. For I tell you that many prophets and kings have desired to see those things, those things which ye see, and have not seen them, and to hear those things which ye hear, and have not heard them. Amen. 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 So I say, as a deep one, we be David the most solo moment, and a deep one, we be as a moon in our person, and can you see Robert Tuomo? And so no, I'm a Tuomo. Meaning here that all the early prophets, Isaiah, Elijah, uh, 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 David, Daniel, all desire that Jesus will come and meet them on earth. But unfortunately, they waited and waited and they have to go. Uh, Jesus is coming in rapture to take the righteous who is alive. So it was when we say that uh, Jesus came or went to hell and to take people from there. Then we are talking about the early prophets whose name appeared in the Bible, who were waiting for the Messiah to come. These were the people that were taken out of paradise and transported with him to heaven. This is the reason why on the resurrection day, when Jesus said it is finished, no sinner wake up, it's only the righteous. In this, also for the bigger come Yes, that is it, brother. Uh, I mean, these have been so many controversies. Uh, the pre Adamic era, uh, people lived without God. But according to Apostle Paul, that those who live without the law, the law of God was written in their conscience already. The day Adam and Eve sinned, they saw that they have sinned against God. So with God or without God, they were convinced consciously God has placed eternity in the heart of man. So any person that rejects Jesus Christ, Muslims are aware. Every Muslim knows that Jesus is God, although they have been deceived. Don't stay in that deception because what we believe. Challenge your belief system. Challenge your belief system. Not because Malam is saying. Challenge what your pastor is saying because when you die, you face the judgment of God in your ignorance. You will be judged according to the word of God. Oh, pastor, I never heard that there is Jesus. There is Christmas Day and Easter Day. These two uh, 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 important ceremony in human life. Other people like it or not, it is being celebrated. The birth and the death of Jesus Christ. Everybody know that there is a Christ. Muslim know that there is Christ. Fetish priests know that there is Christ. Don't stay in your ignorance. 
But if you die as an ignorant person, you will suffer and be punished in hellfire as ignorant person. On that day, you have no excuse. You have no excuse. I didn't go to school. That is not an excuse. I didn't know that there's Jesus. That is not an excuse. You'll be punished in hellfire. Stop arguing. Oh, some pastors are, are because today pastors are building church because of money. There are some of us we are not here for your money. So be aware there is always good people around. Where there is original, there is a counterfeit. So pursue the right thing. And turn away from your excuses. Because on that day, your excuse. Oh, my pastor never preached against uh, 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 those material things. I'm telling you, either your pastor preached against it or not. The day, the first day that you put on trousers, you know that you felt bad. The first day that you put on lipstick, the first day that you put on eyelash, the first day that you put on wig, you felt that something was wrong with you. Until your conscience becomes sealed and you pursue on. I was talking to this beautiful girl who is down there. And she said, I was a pastor's daughter. We knew that what we were doing was sin. But yet our conscience was seared and we were doing what we wanted to do. You who is listening to us, we want to go off uh, and give way to other ministry which is also run and that you go there and listen to them also if you want. <laughs> but we want to appeal to your conscience. This is the time. We preach in love and tell you that is hell. Those who died in disobedience they will go to hell that is the focus and the nutshell of our message you are going to church you are paying your tithe today is saturday some people went to church yesterday friday middle east all the people in middle east they go to church on friday because friday is the sabbath day people in israel saturday is sabbath day we gentiles sunday is our sabbath day any of these three days if you want to choose as a sabbath day god will accept it but the most important thing is, is your name written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Are you still in the race? You might be in the church, but you are not in the race. You might be a pastor's son, a pastor's daughter, but you are not in the race. You can be whatever you are. But if your name is not in the Book of Life, nothing matters. As we are going to pray, we want to give an opportunity to accept our Savior. Just confess him as your God. You might be going to church, but deep within you know that you don't have personal relationship with him. You are crying that you want to make heaven. But still, you know that something is wrong. You are a stern Sabbath day person. You are a very strong believer. But deep within you, you see that something is still wrong. It's not about church. It's personal intimacy. You want to show, pray this short prayer with us. Say, Jesus. I believe you are the son of God. I believe you died for my sins. Lord, I am a religious. But I don't believe in you. Lord, I am a religious. But you are not my savior. Please forgive me of my sins. Cleanse me from all unrighteousness. I welcome you into my heart. I receive your heart this afternoon. I want to love what you love. I want to hate what you hate. Reveal yourself to me, O oh God. Thank you because you love me. In Jesus' name. Amen. As the brother was talking, he spoke about that, that Christ is coming for the church, the ecclesia. I'm not against the church that you go. But my prayer is that you give your life for Jesus for real. And you have a personal intimacy with him. The master that we preach here, I got so many videos on YouTube. I started doing this thing for the past five years. Many of you never know. We've been around for a while. But by the grace of God, many are coming to know these truths. So go to YouTube. You have so many videos to watch. If you have any question, don't hesitate. If you have any need that you want us to pray with you, I'll be very, very happy with you. If you have any dream that you need somebody to explain it to you, I'll be very happy to help you. Or oh, my brother, that we see, who is also gifted in that area very much, he can also help you. We will pray with you and we'll help you to make heaven. We have only one and only one reason that we're here. 
we got other platform as well on Facebook, Sister Kessie and his his husband, her husband, brother Henry, and many other brethren are also there. Please join any of this group. We are one. We are helping people to make heaven. Our zeal is that you make heaven. Lift your hands. Let's let's pray. We shall overcome. We shall overcome someday. Hey, we do it. Iman, I do believe. Oh, we shall overcome. Someday. We shall leave this earth very soon. We shall overcome. Recently, the Lord took Brother Alex into spiritual realm and showed him how rapture is going to be. Brother Alex, do you want to tell us a little bit about that revelation? When God showed you that rapture will come before great tribulation. Sorry. Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, I had a dream, and the Lord was just telling me that uh, all this teaching concerning the rapture, you know, some people have been telling people that uh, we will all experience the rapture, uh, the, 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 like the great tribulation. The Lord will not rapture us, but we all pass through that, and the Lord. Let me know that it is, there is no truth in that. He will, he, will, he will come for his church. We just rapture his people before that great tribulation. It is our way. So we should tell people that they should prepare themselves for the rapture. They should prepare themselves. Amen. One of our brother one time made an audio which I really find it very, very critical that Christian must be prepared for the great tribulation. I didn't know why he was using that. I don't know why. I wouldn't question him because questioning him might bring also another thing. So I wouldn't question him. <laughs> so that is it. Rapture will take place before great tribulation. Any revelation and anything that a person tells you that Christians are going to be tortured generally the whole world before Christ will come and take us is lies. It's not scripture. Sister Wumi, your hands is up before we pray. I'm sorry, I didn't see it on time. Sister Wumi? Yes, sir. Um, it's just concerning the tribulation, rapture, tribulation, whatever thing. But all, all I just want to say is that things that are happening all over, all over now, I believe it's still tribulation, but the general one, it's still going to be after the rapture. Because if you see what is going on in Nigeria, you see people, they're just killing the Christians. They're just murdering, killing the Christians. Not only in Nigeria, but in other countries, we can see that. I see that as tribulation as well. You understand? But the general one is the great one that will happen after rapture. Amen. The Bible talks about great. Great. That word great. It's when it's going to happen on every planet on earth. Now we who are living in the UK, those of us who are living in Europe, we are free. We are not going through that. Yeah, except those countries which are Islamatized or Islamalized or whatsoever that word is. Those countries that Muslims are ruling. It is not happening to Ghana. It's happening to Nigeria because Muslims are ruling. They have upper hand. The president is a Muslim and, and the Christians cannot intervene. Uh, when we go to uh, uh, um, Cameroon, that man is not a Muslim, but they are killing people just like that. It is part of tribulation, but it's not a great tribulation. Yeah, the great tribulation is that Christians cannot live in their homes. As it's happened in the northern Nigeria, then it will happen in north, south, east, and west, everywhere in Nigeria. Christians will be on the street running for their life, running without knowing where they are going. Yeah, they will jump into your houses and open doors. That one is yet to come. That is a great tribulation. That is will be for the disobedient, rebellious people. 
those who hear the word of God, who heard the word of God, and still became complacent that what we know is better. A Catholic is, as for me, nobody will convince me that Catholic church is a sin. As for me, nobody will say that uh, 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 a sister recently met me <laughs> at work and she said, I'm convinced that when Christ comes, I will go. And I'm telling you, when you meet people, don't condemn them. As I'm not condemning you, darling, I'm warning you that your makeup, your eyelashes, and your earring, you are going to hell with your trousers. She said, I'm going to heaven. I said, not my heaven. <laughs> she was a bit upset, <laughs> but I need to. I need to. Sister Judith, it seems you want to say something or ask something. <laughs> ah, when did I see another day? Some, something is wrong. I'm sorry. I did a sign language, but I can't copy your mimic. Still not. Meet us another time. <laughs> All right, the voice is not coming. Sorry for that. Shall we commit our life into the hands of the mighty for God and say, Lord, or if you can write it for me, can you tap? I'll be very pleased. Let's pray in the name of Jesus. A sister had a revelation, and that revelation, some spirit have been released to attack, to hack our platform. That before people can watch, come on the platform or watch any video, you they, they will play something like pornographic sin before people can watch it. Let's pray and bind every demonic force against all the all the gospel, all the true gospel holiness, any spirit, any spirit that hack Christians our program. Fire! 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 In the name of Jesus. We bend them. We bend them in the name of Jesus. Shalabalabalabalabasanda. Every plans of destruction that Satan have set against us every plans of destruction that satan is conspiring against us we come as them against them in the name of jesus your counsel shall stand your purpose shall be revealed O god we demolish all the demonic activity against your elect O god all the demonic counsel against your elect O god the righteous shall come to know you O god in the mighty name of jesus nothing shall contaminate us nothing shall defile us O god for we have decided to walk with you O god in the mighty name of jesus we give you praise. We give you worship. For in Jesus' name. We want to pray for brothers and sisters who are listening to this. Mis uh, who are following this ministry. Holiness ministry worldwide. Heaven seekers worldwide. We want to bring them before God. That people who hear this message. They shall move and they shall run swiftly, irrespective of their, their church doctrine, irrespective of their church background, because Christ is not coming for a particular church, apart from the church who have set himself apart. So those who have heard this message, but they are still contemplating, shall we pray for them? Shall we pray for them? Father, Lord, let your word begin to influence their choices. Father, let the truth, let the truth, let the truth penetrate through their ignorance. Let the truth break through even their insecurity. In the mighty name of Jesus, shall we cry? 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 Many who are still contemplating the God. Many have heard this message of God, but they are still struggling. In the we want to pray for any dream that we had last night which is not from god anyone that had a dream and was being attacked 
in the hand that had a dream that was being uh, uh, overcome, we pray for an overcoming spirit. Shall we take overcoming spirit? An overcoming spirit. An overcoming spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus. She la 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 we give you worship in Jesus' name. We have prayed. We want to pray for one of our sisters, whom the Lord have spoken to one of our brother, one of our holiness teachers or preachers, has invited one of our sisters on our platform that he want her to host a program together with our sister we want to pray that any sister who has divine calling to lead may the lord empower our sister she is going to preach the gospel to the dying world we pray for the lord to equip our sister we pray for the lord to grant her wisdom and knowledge power she has never done this program before but yes she can go and tell the world that Jesus love purity. Shall we pray for our sister? We soak in the blood. We soak in the blood. We commend your daughter into your care, O God. We commend your daughter into your care, O God. We commend your daughter into your care, O God. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Revive her spirit, revive her spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus. We honor you, Lord. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Finally, let's thank God and soak ourselves in the blood as we are departing. We are not coming back today again until tomorrow. May we, our life be preserved. May the Lord order our steps in everywhere we go. Shall we pray? Father, in the you will show us your favor and your blood, your blood, your blood, your blood. We thank you, Lord. We have prayed. Before we go, has anybody got a prayer point? Very serious one that you want the saints to agree with her? All right. Is there any testimony to share? Shall we share the grace together? May the grace, yeah, may the grace of our Lord and our Savior Jesus, Savior Jesus Christ, the love, the love of God, of God the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us now and forevermore. And forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. We shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Oh, before we close, finally, let's soak our sister who is due. One of our sisters is due for delivery. Let's soak in the blood, 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 the blood of Jesus. We cover her with the blood. We blood. We cover her with the blood. We cover her with the blood. Father, let the baby come out just like that. Let the baby come out just like that. We thank you, Lord. We worship you because you have done this. In Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Father, you will deliver your daughter, O God. And you make yourself strong. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you for joining us. Those of you on Facebook, we want to say that I love you with all my heart and the love of Christ. 
and we want to say that God bless you for joining us today. Tomorrow at the same time we shall meet here. But I also want to recommend other platform which is going on on Facebook. Just check the many man of God that you know that that man is preaching the holy truth. Please, if you have time, just pass by. Maybe you can add up. If not, then eat what we have given to you. That will be enough, by the way. God bless you. And God bless you. Amen. 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 Amen.